Hey, welcome to Ice Age TV. And now it's the official Ford Raptor 37. Do I like it, Day? I've bought the truck. I've activated the truck. I got all my toys. How does this truck do for me today? Because it's a whole new day. And do I like it? The truck as much as I think I will. So stay tuned. All right, the Raptor 37. Official workout of the truck day begins. Got a little driving to do today. So it'll be interesting to see the real personality that starts to play out. I just programmed my home link. So let's see if it works. Usually Ford's pretty good. I love their technology. <clears throat> it's usually the easiest one to program your home link and everything. Jesus Christ, who the hell calling me? It's like driving me nuts. Okay. It is toasty warm. Yeah, and the Ford Raptor 37 being a Canadian truck, you only hope so, right? Got my official Ice Age TV sticker on the back of my truck. I gotta order some more stickers. Think about out. Wow, giving a lot out. So here we go. I'm not in the sport mode yet. So let's do change by turning this one notch, which I think I like that, and one more, it goes to sport mode. And it stays in tool drive, which weird is in my power boost. When I go to uh, sport mode, it goes into four-wheel drive. So I don't know if that's all about. My front windshield's got a bit of a film on it. You know, the windshield, thank goodness, the most parts looks good. Listen to the truck. This thing's just such a fun truck. I'm glad other individuals that have more than one vehicle <laughs> reach out and comment because that's what I like about for what I think I can give to others my channel is I drive so many different vehicles I just feel like I can only hope I radiate back to other people. It's like, look, I'm telling you, the Raptor is a more fun truck than the Ram TRX. And I know anybody that owns a Ram TRX be like, no way, man. There's no way, because the Ram TRX is more powerful. I said the Raptor is a more fun truck. I didn't say the Raptor is a more powerful truck. I didn't say that. So that offended is, I'm telling you, this truck is more fun to drive than the Raptor. I mean, than the uh, TRX. And here's a gentleman who owns a 21. This is a, the uh, newest, latest generation of Raptors, third generation, if I'm correct. And he has a Ram TRX. And he says the suspension on this truck is better than the Ram TRX. I think this truck has more character and more the fun factor feel than that Ram TRX does. And. If I really, really want a Ram TRX, don't you think somehow, some way, I would have a Ram TRX by now? If I really, really felt like I had to do some things to make it all work, I could, but I just don't feel that strongly to have to work that hard to get it. This Raptor 37, I have felt for a long time that this is the better vehicle to get. You got noise over here. I don't know what that is. But anyways, this thing just rock and rolls. This truck just gets clean. I mean, that's what cracks me up. If you, until you drive this truck, now I'm gonna totally agree with the guy that's in a Ram TRX and he comes off the line and stomps it. Yeah, this thing's not gonna hang with you. But just driving this truck down the road as a normal individual and just wanting to get the road, this thing hauls butt. So, and what I'm really amazed about is this 37 tire package feels more responsive and quicker than my last 35 Raptor. And what's even more interesting is I ride around in that power boost so much. Around in the Ford power boost so much that ruined in so many aspects the non hybrid love of those vehicles. I ordered a brand new Ford Platinum Expedition. Going over the mountain here, gotta pop my ears. Brand new Ford Platinum Ex Expedition. And when I went to trash drive that vehicle, it was like. It was so underpowered because I was spoiled by that Ford Power Boost that has 550 foot pounds of uh, torque. This has 510, but this has 450 horsepower. But I mean, in the end, the Power Boost, in my opinion, is it's the more powerful truck in so many ways. But this is the more fun truck. If you're kind of listening to it right now, mode, so it's kind of doing more of aggressive type of drive. But I mean, this thing just rolls. They're just I'm on the back roads, and this is a big truck, and I can guarantee you they don't have 91 or 93 octane in this vehicle. I can guarantee you they put 87 
Uh, so this truck isn't really even running per se. I mean, it's a major argument about what fuel grade you live, but you put in the vehicle. But right now, this vehicle is not even at the highest premium of uh, fuel to really, uh, really be driving to its fullest capability. So, but once again, this truck, and this is a truck with 20, close to 24,000 miles on it. And for it to be this solid and feel this good, I mean, just wow. I mean, really, wow. And that's why I'm talking about it. Because this Ram, this Ram you know, see, this is the thing. I have so many freaking vehicles. I mean, I have so many different damn cars. Yeah, how do you keep all this information? Right? But the good news is, for me right now, I'm enjoying the used Raptor 37. Because I'm sure at some point, I'm like, oh, there you go. It's a used truck, a lot of miles, you know, something, but not really a lot of miles. But my F-250 Tremor truck so far has been really uh, good to me. Only complaint I have in the F-250 Tremor truck is the tires are definitely starting to show the wear and tear. And that truck does hit a lot of road noise. And it doesn't ride as great as it could because those tires are really, in my eyes, you know, they're just not the greatest of tires. They're the worst in the... Uh, rainy days i mean those tires just slip all over the road so here we go heading another back road and i mean you can just see right here i'm in the back roads here and this thing just eats up the bumps and it's extremely confident and that's what's that's what's so cool about this truck is i mean you can just whip around these corners the back roads you don't feel like you're gonna go off the road and i mean this truck just rocks are you hearing this thing I mean, it's just, it's wow. To me, it's the wow factor. Here we go. It's just beautiful time of year up here as far as kind of seeing more of the scenery and all that good stuff. The holiday is here, and this is a holiday people. You know, their holiday toys that they blow up at night. So, uh, coming to the corners, this thing just really, it's just, it's just an incredible very planted but at the same time this vehicle is so planted but it doesn't beat you up and that's very challenging to have a stiffer suspension that's not swaying all over the road without you having a very stiff ride i mean that's a very you know challenging thing and so i mean that's and that's why this thing is so cool because it's so confident but yet it's so comfortable it doesn't beat you up on you're like you're being sacrificed for all the bigger tires and the beefier suspension and that's a challenge anybody that was the young guy like me and you tried to build your own really cool looking truck and lifted it big tires big wheels you know that thing rode like a brick i'm um, down you know rode like a brick with tires on it extremely bumpy um you know borderline all over the road i've had so many lifted and customized vehicles and you end up sacrificing the well-being of what you bought just to have that batter ass really cool look to it and and yeah but you, since you're looking cool you just kind of try to ignore all the uh imperfections it's such a beautiful house right there and we're into waterford now so a beautiful day here cold though it's chilly it's just a cold air time of year that's what it is and uh, I gotta just kind of get some few jobs done, get some time behind the wheel of the Raptor. Do I get a tent today? I'll be over in that area maybe today. We'll see. And then I'll be getting another tent yet another day. I want to get the the strip tent, side windows tinted, and it just makes a really big difference. One person asked uh, last night, "Where's the moon roof?" And so right here, if you push this button right here. The, uh, there's your moonroof. But in the daytime, this truck gets so much light in it that, I mean, you start getting too hot. <laughs> there's a very fine line of that, that shade that I feel like that shade's a better way just to have the shade closed. But it gives you a lot of light, opens it up, and it gives you a much more airy, airy you know, free space type of a feel. And... And that's why I've shown this morning on my Ford Raptor Bronco. It's such a dark vehicle. Now you hear this exhaust. What do you mean to me? This is 
fine. A lot of people are just so anti six cylinder engines when the, the six cylinder engines are overtaking the eight and eight cylinder engines on more being more powerful because of the turbo systems. So. Once again, this vehicle, it, it's such a really well designed. I mean, it, the vehicle is designed to go off into the Baja and do some serious off-roading and enable you still to be able to really confidently drive the vehicle without losing control of it. And that's the whole idea why this suspension of this thing is such an elaborate, very expensive suspension is because it's truly designed to enable you to be able to go very fast and not lose control of the vehicle. And that's what it's all about is, you know, for anybody out there that's, you know, wanting to go and really get up the road, I mean, you know, you just, this thing allows you to do that. And that's the whole idea, especially on the really rough terrain, you know, very rough terrain um, service. You take this vehicle versus my F-250 Tremor truck, you're going to crash it. I've driven the Jeeps and the back roads on really crappy back roads, and you just about go off the road because of that solid front axle. The Ford Bronco, my Toyota Pro, Forerunner, those things just go in the back roads and they just eat it up like you can't believe. I mean, truly. I mean, it's 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 such a radical difference. So you take a solid front axle truck or Jeep and you go back road at high speeds and you have a bunch of ripples in the road and potholes in the road, you're going to find out very quickly, go to that corner, you're off the road. Uh, when you have a front independent suspension, you have a custom rear suspension. Remember, this is a rear coil link style suspension. The Ford F-150 trucks are uh, rear leaf spring suspensions. So that's a huge difference in your capabilities of going off road and being very aggressive and the truck uh, now bouncing all over the road and you losing it because that back end is all over the place. That's the downside of that F-250 trimmer Trevor truck is that the guy put a one ton suspension under it, but he put a Carly front custom off road front suspension. That guy there would be like, dude, I don't know what you were thinking. All right. Oh, Rob, back on the road again in the Raptor. The Raptor with the red, the red thing in the middle because apparently this is supposed to help you realize the steering wheel is straight. Wow. Isn't that interesting, right? The red mark. Are you marked? As we get up the road, this thing just rocks. This thing just gets up the road so easily. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. You know, as time progresses, well, I feel the same about that. You know, like a month from now or a few weeks from now, once I work out of this thing day in, day out, will that change? Possibly could. That's for sure. Oh, and here we are. Where are we? Where are we? We're LA Tint Masses. What number is this? What number is LA Tint Manassas? And are they busy? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Boy, times have changed here. I can remember arguing with Travis here about how it wouldn't last forever. He told me it always lasts forever. I'm like, okay. Whatever, I'm sure I'm wrong, which isn't a problem. I can be wrong. Hey, Ice Age TV, LA Tint Manassas, Virginia. Wow, wasn't I just here like the other day? Hey, I'm getting my freshly used Raptor 37 package. I'm going to do a window tint on it and a front strip. And I figured, hey, why don't we do a before and after look of the Ice HCV Iceman's 2022 Antimatter Blue Ford Raptor 37. And how does it look when she's all said and done? Stay tuned. Okay, Sarath so is going to do the wrap. No. He's going to do the tint. So here we go. 
get her in, got to get the door closed. It's never simple. Can he figure it out? Is he confused? I think he is. There he is. There we go. Already gotten the, the uh, step dirty from walking in the mud. And as you can see, the 37, all the uh, tire spray. They, you know, they, they, they lubricated the tires. And so it's just all the way down the truck. But oh well. There it is. I'll close the door for you. I'll help you out. Wowsker, Wowsker in LA. Tint Manassas does another one. They do another one for the Iceman. Yes, they did. This is number 75. 75 tints. 75 tints here at LA Tint Manassas for the Iceman. No lie. I think it's going to go with the, uh, the truck theme because... This is the 75th year of the Ford um, truck. Is that right or wrong? I don't even know. So what do we got here? Let's check it out. We've got on the sides, we've got like 15. On the back, we got 15. And then we've got across the strip, there's like another 15. So it's the 15, 15, 15 day on the Ford Raptor 37, 2022, freshly used that I just purchased, and this is the number 75th window tent. Thank you, LA Tent, Manassas. Oh, the adventure never ends. The adventure never ends. Boy, you just got this thing splattered. Splattered. All right, here we go. Jump in. Don't put the window down. Now we're into the nice and warm and cozy uh, Ford Raptor. Let me get my number one program. Get me back to my settings, which... You gotta love that because these guys changed all that and here we are here we is we're back and the truck looks so much better a little darker not too bad and as usual i love doing the window tint on the front and how are we doing on the driving right how are we doing on this driving today we're doing pretty damn good so let's get up the road get this thing back into the sport mode give a little attitude and i wonder how i'm doing on my fuel 16.2 that's hard to believe but i did reset it earlier so if this thing gets 16 miles a gallon i'll be amazed so number 75 is that crazy i'm not embellishing this is a 75th window tent here at la tent manassas now smartest thing i can do is drive home because if i go up to this ford dealership what's gonna happen then right then i'll see something else you go oh there we go I could do, give him something to do over there. And oh, here is the good old, uh, wow, that's crazy how the Apple CarPlay just instantly, wow, lots of Mustangs. This dealer here, Oarsman Ford, they got high hopes. They have so many Mustangs. This is where you'd have to say honestly that yes. Uh, are those guys that selling cars? I don't know. They got a lot of cars, I'll tell you that much. But back there at LA 10, I mean, I was slow. I mean, if you saw that, I was I was only the one. I mean, it's changed. Really, the little sort of time of year, time of year, but it seems to me, since I've been going there lately, and it definitely has kind of simmered down. So this looks like my old, no, nah, it's not, but I had a Gladiator all lifted and the big tires and all that good stuff. Well, I got the heated seat on, and it's just way too hot, too hot. So onward we go oh the another adventure in the raptor yabba dabba do right this truck just so drives so smooth i mean i am just taken back about how nice this ford raptor tr product is being it's used i mean it's used i would not even know this is a used truck per se i mean it's still so tight now he has a keep it another day it'll start having all the rattles and shimmy jimmies on me uh i guess it's possible but right now i mean it's just really uh incredibly still very tight vehicle for uh, the age of the vehicle so very happy love the tint you can't really see it that much when you're in this video but 
when you sit in the truck, it definitely is a lot darker. Gets you that more that sun off of you. If you go to Florida, if you go to the west or Florida, you know that sun could just really get you. And this is such a big window in these trucks that that sun just burns you up. So the tent really does help help you a lot. Keeps it to be a lot cooler. Plus it gives you the privacy, which that's what I like. Somebody in the back right now, they don't really know who's in the truck, which I kind of like that. Yeah, they're probably like, who is that crazy man in the truck? Gotta go by Sam's Club, get a few things, and uh, share the love. Share the love of the Raptor truck. 37, highly recommend it. Anybody out there that can find a 37 Raptor, I'm just telling you right now, I think you'll be very, very happy. So far, I am. It's really cool. So... Should, should you go buy one? If you got the budget to do it, I'd definitely do it. And I feel like I was very fortunate to find this one. I have a lot of the uh, added on options, which makes it a very expensive truck in so many ways, which I wouldn't do. If I was ordering this truck, I would have kept the real base, real basics just because I wouldn't get this thing get too expensive. So the irony is, I always wanted to find a Ram TRX truck for about 80 grand. And here at the end of the day, I found a really nice Raptor 37 truck under 80 grand. So I think I did okay. And did I, do I miss my charger? I don't because I have a, I have a plum crazy charger. So do I miss it? I don't. I really don't. Um, I'm glad I got rid of it in all sincereness. You know, have the plum crazy, that really makes up for what I gave away. So... Not a lot. I wanted to share my next day in my vehicle. Somebody's like, you know, what do you think of the truck, man? Because you went through a lot of work to buy it. Was it worth it? And I'll tell you, honestly, it was. I had to do a lot of maneuvering and finagling. And I'm just really glad that I didn't give up. And that's the thing. I didn't give up. And another thing and another thing and another thing. And what's so great about this Raptor platform truck it's so comfortable that you just want to keep on driving i mean i can't emphasize enough this is such a comfortable riding vehicle plenty of power no shimmy or shaking my hands are even on the wheel um i wish this thing had blue cruise but apparently it doesn't but it's just such a great riding vehicle that you can drive it and that could beat up and get worn out and if you ride around in vehicles like I do, there's so many vehicles I ride around in that by the end of the day, you just want to get out of the vehicle because you're just not comfortable. So for me, it really is a great riding truck. And the 35s would be every bit of this. Maybe out there is like, well, 37 is a little, you know, salty for me, and I just can't find the used 37s. But for the record, for the first time, I'm witnessing these dealerships are now discounting raptors i haven't seen that so if i was out there wanting to get a raptor now is the time because they are starting to uh discount the vehicles you find the right dealership 37s i wouldn't be so confident on a discount of 37 definitely 35s but at least the 37s would be uh at msrp and i'm sure some dealers would probably maybe do that too i don't know very debatable Wow, loving the truck, and it steers itself. I've talked about this last night. We're going through corners, and this thing has this self-steering capability. Look at this here. It, you know, to a degree, it has blue cruise, but it doesn't. I mean, so why won't this truck activate the blue cruise? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. It seems to have all the technology in it, and but it's not doing that so let's see is it figured out up here you know here we go through a corner pretty sharp corner look i'm with you have your hand near that steering wheel and look look at this <laughs> i so this thing's mapped so I wonder if that's wonder why they won't do the 360 blue cruise do i have to activate something uh, my ford power boost it took like a day after I bought that truck, before the Blue Cruise seemed to come to life. I just registered this truck with Ford through the Ford Pass. 
Um, but I don't see anything when you look up on the Ford specs that this thing has blue cruise. So I don't think it does, but you can see the lights flashing over here that are watching me that would tend to make you believe that this vehicle has the uh, the blue cruise. So, uh, all right, now we get all the traffic and all the people's attitudes. And here's, here's people are cutting in front of me to just truck figure it out. There's a lot going on right now. It's an adaptive cruise. So is it, so I picked it up right there. I've witnessed these cars where they get confused. And if you're not really paying attention, yeah, all of a sudden you're into a guy. see this type of car next to you what do you think yeah get the heck away from me dude too many bumps and scratches on that things right yeah i'm with you so you have to ask yourself does sam's club know something that's going on they have so much toilet tissue paper towels i mean i'm talking about rows and rows and rows what's going on does sam's club know uh is there another pandemic on our doorstep why sam's club have an incredible amount of inventory of toilet tissue and uh, paper towels wow should I say yikes? Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Is the is the next big wave right on our doorstep? Got to wait. <laughs> Have to wonder. Oh boy. Four hundred dollars later. Four hundred bucks. Take a look. Four hundred dollars of food. Can you believe that? Wow. But good thing I get the Raptor. So now the Raptor, where would I fit all this stuff, right? It just doesn't end, man. Wow. All right, let's get the heck out of Sam's Club. Wow, how do you as a parent, I mean, oh my gosh. I can only imagine people have two, three, four kids. There's no way, there's no way. I mean, I have one kid and a wife, five dogs, and I was at Costco on uh, Sunday and I spent 500 bucks. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, sincerely, between dog food, other food, I mean, keep in mind, this isn't food you're gonna eat all today. And I'd rather just go and, and, you know, stock up and have stuff, but even at that, crap, I wonder what, the average bill is for the family today that has like four kids. So you have six people eating. I mean, it has to be two, three thousand dollars a month going to the grocery store. I mean, if you want to live on crackers and cheese or I mean crackers and water, then I get it. But if you actually want to have some pretty decent uh, meals, wow. Yeah, I know. It's just crazy times, isn't it? Just be unbelievable. But at the enjoyment of the Raptor. But if you watch that short video I just did, I did a shorty. What is going on? Oh, is there's a whole other section of paper towels and toilet tissue. That was just stuff sitting outside the aisles. They didn't have real to put it. They didn't have room in the back end to store it. I saw them moving around on forklifts, paper towels, and toilet tissue. So what do the big guys know? I mean, sincerely, they know something. I'll just be amazed. We all, I know everybody here is waiting for the 2024. Once it hits January, February, um, and it's the election year, everybody's gonna be, you know, speculating that uh, all of a sudden, sure enough, uh, things are all locked down again because of somebody have theories of how the election year this year will be controlled because of people not being able to go to uh, vote. And, That'll create the mail-in and all that other good stuff. The drop box, all that stuff. That's what the uh, people will start claiming. So uh, let's get on back home. Oh, what a, just, man, it's just been nonstop every day for me. If you watch my channel, you know. 
I don't think you get it. As we rock and roll. Look at all those houses. It just doesn't it doesn't end. It's never stopped. And there's the policeman waiting to write the ticket today. Which I'm sure he'll get somebody. This car is so this this steering, you know, it's it it controls it going through these corners to a degree, but not totally. It's kind of weird. It's like it's as if it's mapped. And in mapped areas, it works. But then in other areas, well, I guess also it comes down to if I do the, uh, if I actually do the adaptive cruise control, does that change it? That would be my guess, that now the steering overtakes. So now the steering does. So here, a minute ago, I didn't have the adaptive on, and that steering really wasn't reacting to that corner. But now it is. It's all hands-free. This thing has. Somebody out there has a Raptor. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. I mean, I've had a, <laughs> I had a 22 Raptor. It didn't have Blue Cruise. It just seems like it should. Right? And already the roads. It's not even. It's, it's 2 o'clock. And up in this area where I live, it's just all day long. I'm sure there's a lot of people in the Metropolis areas who say, yep, traffic is a challenge all the time. Isn't that incredible? Where's everybody going? Remember the good old days where you went to work? <laughs> and if you're stuck in an office all day? What happened to those days? And aren't people supposed to be remotely working? I mean, what's going on, right? What's going on in this world? As everybody's out just all day long. Tis the season to be jolly. La, 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 la. Oh, no. Got to have the good stuff, right? That place is booming. 1,100 cases of uh, of goodies over the uh, the uh, weekend. Killer day for them. 1,100 cases. Wow. Yeah, I guess the economy's driving everybody to, to drinking, right? Yeah. Just keep on drinking that stuff. It's going to be okay. You know, interesting. Back there at that Sam's Club, another gentleman was walking down the aisle. And I said, do you know what's seeing kind of weird here at this place? He's like, yeah. I said, you see all that toilet tissue and paper towels? He's like, I was thinking the exact same thing. He's like, something's going on. He's like, somebody bigger than us knows something and they ain't telling us. I'm like right oh boy yeah oh boy the adventure shall begin tis this season to be jolly as we have a jolly good time with the raptor 37 come on if you don't have a vehicle that makes you happy you got the wrong vehicle yes does anybody know those stories yeah i'm sure a lot of people are like yeah yeah i know those stories all right, let's get out. Tis the season to be jolly. Yeah, I mean, shopping centers happening, all that good stuff. Now, personalized tag. Do I put on this bad boy, right? Ice Age. Maybe Ice Age. Yeah, Ice Age 1. Ice Age 2. Attitude. 37 guy. Yeah, there you go, right? Yeah, all right. Let's just keep it going. Keep the video going, right, Iceman? You just can't shut the hell up. I hear you. I hear you. All right. As the truck falls apart as I drive it more, the mechanic tightened everything down. But once I drive it for a while, it'll all start sh you know, shaking and shimmying and start making all these funky noises. And my guys are like, ah, you told you so. You should have bought a new one, man. You can't trust those Canadians. Those Canadians, you can't trust those Canadians up there. They live up in that freezing cold stuff. It freezes their brain. It does. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Don't take it wrong, there's Canadian guys up there, but you know if some if some weighed in, like, yeah, man. Everything's expensive up here. All right. Oh, the beauty of traffic. You go 30 years ago for me, and this road was road was wide open. None of that was there. I mean, it's just incredible how 
all the years I've lived here, and this is a major road that relies on, uh, I mean, this, this feeds people from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina. I mean, this is a road, it's a major network of people getting up and down the eastern seaboard uh, parallel to Route 95. So if you take Route 95 and you want to get off 95 and get in Maryland, you have to take this road. <laughs> and it's so outdated. And they won't, they just won't do anything. <laughs> There's just some people here that are anti expanding this road, but it's always very busy. It's only 245. You give this road another hour and way back there when I left that shopping center. You'll be in stop and go way miles before you get to this part. Just incredible. Here we go. It's just not adaptive. I'm not even pushing the gas pedal. The car is doing it all on its own. And now does this thing kind of have that steering still? See here. I'm in two old two uh, two way traffic, but yeah, I mean the car for the most part is steering itself. So, oh, the technology. Beautiful day, though. It's warmed up a little bit. And the Ford Raptor 37. Just like to share my fun and enthusiasm. Anytime I get a new ride, doesn't mean it's a new car, but it's a new ride for me. And I just like to share my uh, ideas. And I, the Raptor wins again. And like I tell people all the time, it's beyond you know, believable. Now, this is now my fourth Raptor. I've owned now 2002, 2018 models, and a 2022 model, and another 2022 model. Isn't that something? So, I, 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 well, yeah, I had a brand new 18 model, sold it, and then I got a used 18 model, sold it. Then I picked up really a barely driven, I think the black Raptor I bought, it had like, I think, three, four hundred miles on it, maybe eight hundred, I can't remember, and I didn't keep that very long, then I get the power boost, only to turn around, and here I now have the highest mileage Raptor, well, that other used Raptor, I think it had 18,000 miles on it, but that was a, a person that smoked in it, and they changed out the wheels, so they changed the wheels and tires out. And you could smell how the person smoked in the car. But it was a decent vehicle. My daughter loved that vehicle. Here we go. Getting close to home. And oh boy, what happened here? I think they just got a flat tire. I'm not driving the car. See here, look. It's hands free. Why not the Blue Cruise? I just don't get it. So, what is happening here, right? Let's move right off the road. I don't think so. I think they got a flat tire. Who knows? It just doesn't end. Here's your C8 Corvette. wonder why Ford doesn't activate the Blue Cruise. What's going on? I know I talk about it a gazillion times. These guys have tried to crate the shed into the garage. Hmm, interesting. That house there has been abandoned forever. The guy that owns all that property back there is very, very rich. Has a really bad attitude. Very arrogant. His dad owned all the farmland out here. And uh, when his daddy died, he inherited everything. And he sold it all off for uh, development. And, and now he thinks he's the most special guy in the world. Anybody know these stories? These, this here, it's like 100 acres of land that was put into conservation. And you get paid. And then you get paid... If you can show the Chesapeake Bay watershed that all the water coming off this land doesn't uh, contaminate the uh, water, the uh, Chesapeake Bay, you get paid 
you get paid a hundred uh, thousand dollars a year you get paid a million dollars over 10 years if you can prove that your land doesn't uh, pollute the uh, streams and waterways that's a fact I know the people that own that land and they were paid I well, paid three four five million dollars or how much to, to put it in conservation instead of having it developed I don't know number very interesting here this trailer is so goofy this vehicle doesn't pick it up it, the, the radar gets confused so if I didn't put my foot on the brake I would have crashed in this guy's trailer because it's a really weird the the, uh, the front sensor just can't grasp what's going on it's not like a solid surface anytime we get behind a motorcyclist with adaptive cruise control I'm always very very aware of what's going on because I don't think it picks up the uh, motorcyclist half the time a lot of motorcyclists out today I've seen quite a few it's not a bad day it's it's um 50 degrees so all right come on let me get to my street come on hurry up eh, it's always the traffic and we're back at the ice age tv compound the kids back everybody's back and there's the puppies gonna go crazy what's pretty cool here is you can turn your camera on and i can kind of see what's going on right here because we got a lot of dogs and uh we're all going to try to get out of my gate. I don't know I'm doing that. So get back here, goofies. Don't get out on the road. There they are. See that? You see a lot of dogs like I do. It gets a little crazy. Crazy. Not for sure. All right. I think it's time to call it another day at the Ice Age TV Adventures. And wow, what a great truck. Loving it. What's really interesting here, whoever owned this truck... They didn't work out of this truck. There's no way. If you look at the bed of my trucks, it don't even have nearly the miles on what this truck has. So ever owned this truck, this was never a work truck. So, uh, yeah, we'll find out as time progresses. Is it really the truck that I think it is? Love the tinted windows. I think the truck looks good. And I'm very, very happy, very excited. Appreciate all the comments and the support. And uh, that's what it's all about in this world. It's support each other to become a better world, right? So just loving it. Wrap it up. And what are we doing tomorrow? The theme of the conversations tomorrow, right? I don't know yet. I hope I can figure something out, right? I always like to talk in the morning. Hopefully that entertains you. So watch me another day. And for Army Vet Retired, he, uh, he thinks I don't like Indians. I think he mistook it, and it's not a big deal because, uh, man, why are you kind of like uh, saying you're done with Indian? Well, what I'm saying is Indian doesn't have anything for me to really want to buy. <laughs> so I'm just not excited about the Indian product to go buy something. So I think maybe more of that's a conversation. And Challenger, great product. And for me, that's a chunk of money that I can cash out of and use for something else. So I just always like to change up the rides. I just really want something different. And, you know, we'll see how it plays out. But it's not that I don't like Indian anymore. It's just they don't have anything to offer me that I haven't already had. It just kind of gets boring and mundane. This is really cool. This is just a whole different ride. And I like that motorcycle. And I'm just enjoying that. Just a different style of riding right now. And I'm just enjoying that. So uh, stay tuned for more adventures, more conversations, the sun is so bright and uh, gotta get the truck one thing i love about these forge watch this here this is so cool see that i mean these tailgates are so heavy i mean that's how you do it you just you just pick it up a little bit and it falls but i would have had a roll up but i, I ain't replacing this because these things are so expensive now it's ridiculous but you know and it does the job and so anyways what a great day in the raptor Windows tinted, got my strip, and it's been a very enjoyable ride around my truck day. And this thing's so tight that uh, you gotta double, double close the door. My kid is coming over next, so I think I'm gonna get my truck out of the way for her to end her work day. And let's just see if that all plays out, okay? So once you're watching Ice Age TV, God bless, God bless, stay safe, and see you in the morning.